Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know me, I am Kat Meffern, your yoga teacher. For those of you that are here every week, welcome back. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. You can just click the little YouTube button in the corner of this screen and then obviously you will have access to all of my flows and get notifications when there are new ones. So there was only, <laughs> sorry, one type of flow that I was gonna be able to film for you today and that is yoga for when you're feeling a little bit under the weather. So. Not sure if you can tell, but I'm not feeling too special myself today. Um, got a bit of a cold, all my sinuses are a bit blocked up. Um, my body's feeling a little bit kind of weak. Um, but some of us like to still practice. Now, I'm not recommending that everybody needs to do yoga when they're feeling poorly. For some of you, being in bed might be exactly what you need. For me, I know that there are certain things in yoga that I can't do, like I couldn't throw out a power flow, even a downward facing dog is just too much going into my head, but I do wanna stretch out because it makes me feel a little bit better. So this is just for those of you that when you're feeling a bit under the weather, you wanna have a little stretch and we're gonna keep it super, super chilled. So you're gonna come to a comfortable seated position. You can pop yourself up on a block if you need to. And you're gonna place the hands down on the knees, take a big shoulder roll back. Grow tall through the spine, drawing the crown of the head all the way up to the ceiling. Bottom grounds down into the mat. Now as well, if you are feeling a little under the weather, maybe you're just doing this flow because you're a bit tired or you want something chilled out. But do remember if you are a bit blocked up, your breathing is going to be slightly trickier. So just take it easy. Don't get too stressed out without, you know, if you can't focus on your Ujjayi breath or anything like that. Just keep the breathing soft and natural throughout our whole practice today. And we're gonna take three big inhales through the nose and sigh it all out through the mouth. Inhale. Inhale. Last time, inhale. Nice. Taking the chin down to the chest, taking half neck rolls. So head comes over to the right side, back down through center, over to the left. And we'll keep working that through, round to the right, down through center. To the left. One more going each way. To the right. Down. To the left. Nice. Bring the head back to neutral. Just lifting up the chin. Interlace the hands. Place, place the hands pushing upwards towards the sky. Stretch out through the front body. And then just maybe start to work the body round in circles here. It can be as big or as small as you want. Going both directions. Release. I always start when I get a little bit poorly, I get to feel really tight through my thoracic, all through my chest and my ribs. So that's a really nice one to open it up. Placing left hand down, sweep the right arm all the way up. Open out through the right side body by taking the arm up and over. Making sure there's a gap here between the ear and the shoulder. Maybe you're feeling open enough to take that forearm all the way down to the mat. Making sure both sit bones are on your mat. Seeing if you can just pivot that chest up towards the sky. Coming all the way back over. Right hand goes down, sweep left arm up, reaching over, opening through the left side body again, just finding the depth and the variation that works best for you today. Really breathe into the body. Even if you're so blocked up that you're having to breathe through the mouth, just do that, just make sure the whole time you are breathing. You're gonna walk those hands forwards now. 
maybe coming down to the forearms if that feels good. If not, you can just stay up on the fingertips. Let's actually just switch over the cross leg so that we go to the other side, probably the side that feels a little bit uh, less familiar to you. Just releasing tension through the neck here, through the head. And coming all the way up. You're just gonna move yourself around onto all fours. <sighs> Making sure we're nicely stacked here. Take a nice inhale, lift through the chest. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Inhale, lift. Exhaling, round. Inhale, lift. Exhaling, round. You're gonna place your right foot back, stretching through the calf, so pushing through the hands, tucking under the right toes as you push that right leg back, right leg is straight, and feeling that stretch down the right side calf muscle. Breathing here. And then let's open out. So taking the right hand off, you can place the right foot down on the inside. Open out, create that diagonal line all the way from the right leg up through the right arm. This is a bit too intense. You can turn that foot out towards the back and then you've got a slightly more of a ground, <laughs> you've got slightly more of a base to balance on. This is what happens when you try and film when you're a little bit poorly. Slowly releasing it back. You're gonna bring that right knee all the way through. Place the right foot between the hands. You might need to shift the left foot back a little bit as we come to a lunge. So from here, either interlacing hands on the knee or if you have two blocks and you can put blocks either side of you, just do that instead. Again, really feeling into the breath. Shifting the weight back towards a half split. A nice little hamstring stretch here. Either staying up with the chest or if it feels okay, you can see if you can come into a slight forward fold. Right foot is flexed. We're drawing that right hip back in towards the body. Nice square hips here. On an inhale, working your way forwards, place the hands on the inside of the right foot, heel toe the foot out and come down for lizard. So maybe again up on the fingertips or coming down to the forearms if that feels good. Breathing here. Maybe taking some gentle movement here, just swaying side to side, just seeing how the hips feel, seeing how the body feels. Just knowing as well that if you are feeling a little rough, you could take child's pose at any time. Slowly pushing up onto the hands. Tuck under that back foot. You might need to just lift the knee a little bit as you then bring the right knee to the right wrist for pigeon on the right side. Oh, I know that I'm feeling tight here this morning. So just finding your pigeon if you need props, just popping a block or a cushion underneath the right side bum just to lift you up, whatever, just making sure that you've got your alignment, you're not just kind of like falling over to one side. So wherever you're at, seeing if you can walk those hands forwards. Remember just those natural nice breaths. If you want to work your Ujjayi breath, you absolutely can. Just obviously be aware of 
feeling a little bit heated and hot within the body. On an inhale, coming up to the hands. You're just gonna tuck under the back foot, bend the knee in and then bring that right foot back to our tabletop here onto all fours. Let's inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale round. Stepping that left foot away now, finding that calf stretch. So pushing back through the hands. One more nice breath here. And then we'll open it up to the side. So taking the left hand off as you create that diagonal line all the way through the left fingertips down to the left foot. If you can take the gaze up, awesome. And again, if you need to create a wider base, you can pivot the lower left leg, the lower right leg. And slowly releasing that left hand. Now we're going to pick up the left foot, draw it all the way in and then just place the left foot between the hands. You can just shift the right foot back a little bit. Coming to our low lunge. Interlace hands on the knee. If again, if you have your two blocks, you can place your hands on your blocks. Just gives us a little bit of height, a little bit of lift in the lower belly. Placing fingertips down, start to shift the bottom back, coming to our left side half split, flexing that left foot, either staying lifted with the chest, this might just be enough for you, or slowly seeing if you can come down into a little bit of a forward fold here. <clears throat> Keeping that foot flexed. On an inhale, start to shift the weight forwards. Take the hands on the inside of the left foot, heel toe, left foot open a little bit, come down for your lizard. So wherever that is, either up on the hands or down on the forearms, just keeping it chilled, keeping it soft and kind and gentle in the body. Again, seeing if you wanna find a little bit of movement here. When you're ready, just placing both hands down. You might need to tuck under the back foot and lift the knee in order to bring that left knee through to left side pigeon. Again, find some props, anything that you need to just pad underneath the left side bottom. And find that lift. And then when you're ready, if it feels okay to, just walk the hands forwards. Yeah, again, releasing tension through the neck. And just the whole time staying connected to your breath. On an inhale, lifting all the way up. I think I could have fallen asleep there. <laughs> okay, bringing that leg back around, just coming to 
all fours and then just sitting the bottom back onto the heels. You're gonna take a twist. First of all, let's just take a shoulder roll back, grow tall through the spine, find that length. Place the left hand to the outside of the right knee. Place those right, the right fingertips down behind you. Inhale, find length. Exhale, take a twist. Gazing towards the back of your mat, back of the room. Bringing it all the way back around. Right hand goes to the outside of the left leg. Inhale, find length. Exhale, take a little twist. And coming all back around swing those legs around we're coming all the way down to the mat now so just taking yourself laying down on your back <sighs> drawing the knees into the chest and just taking a little rock side to side and then we're going to take a happy baby so taking the outside edges of the feet drawing those knees down towards the armpits again maybe finding a bit of movement here Maybe just staying in stillness. You can close off the eyes. And then bringing those feet together, cradling underneath the feet, letting the knees drop out to the side. So heels of the feet draw in towards the pelvis. And then placing those feet down on the mat. So soles of the feet together will come to a Supta Baddha Konasana. So if you need to, you can put some cushions underneath your thighs, underneath your knees. Soles of the feet are together, knees are dropping out. We're gonna do the exact same with our arms above the head. So just breathing here. So we're kind of, you know, we're relaxing, we're opening at the same time. If this feels super uncomfortable, you can come to a traditional Shavasana. Just laying down flat with the feet out long, palms facing upwards. We're gonna take a few moments here. Just come to give yourself a little bit of time to register how you're feeling, both physically and emotionally. And feel free to stay here a little longer if you wish. Those of you ready to finish up, we're going to roll on over to our right side and just pause there for a moment. Just noticing the comfort and the safety of this position, keeping those eyes closed. And when you're ready, pushing your way up to a seated position. Again, eyes are closed, grow tall through the crown of the spine, ground down through all parts of the body connected to your mat, palms are together at heart center. You'll take one big breath in and sigh it all out through the mouth, inhale. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you all so much for flowing with me today. I hope that you are feeling a little better. Hopefully your body feels a little bit more open. Um, do obviously comment below, like the video if you liked it. 
Um, yeah, and I wish you um, get well wishes. I wish you get well wishes. That will do. <laughs> and I will see you guys again soon, hopefully when I'm feeling a lot perkier and I can film something nice and powerful for you. But anyway, see you soon and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.